Hi guys and welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. We haven't done Whiteboard Wednesday here at Intuitive Search for quite some time, so I thought I would bring it back to you today. My name is Brian Baker. I'm the SEO guy at Intuitive Search. So let's go ahead and get started on the topic of infographics. So on the board here, I have the same information displayed on this side as on this side. On this side, we have the information in text and paragraph form. And over here, we have the, the same information visualized, as you can see. So I invite you to pause the video right here and leave a comment down below, whether it's on YouTube or on our blog. Let me know which type of information you prefer. Would you prefer reading these sentences out or would you prefer these quick visualizations of the information? So if you don't know what infographics are, I'm sure you've seen them in your Facebook wall or on a Buzzfeed article or some other article that you've read on the internet. The use of infograph <laughs> infographics the use of infographics has absolutely been exploding over the past couple years. And we'll get into the reasons as to why a little bit later. But first let's let's look at the statistics of the increasing use of infographics. So this sentence right here reads, the use of visualized information has increased by 400% in literature since 1990. 142% in newspapers between 1985 and 1994, and 9,900% on the internet since 2007. So in that short period of time between 2007 and 2014 where we are today, the use of infographics has exploded. 9,900% to be exact. So let's go on over here and view the same information visualized. So right here, I have a quick sentence at the top. The use of visualized information has increased, dot, 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 400%. I have it in big red bold letters, green arrow going up, and a little crudely drawn book. Next over here, we have 9,900% 9, 9, on the internet. I have a little crudely drawn internet symbol again. And then 142% increase in newspapers. Again, a crudely drawn newspaper. So I personally really prefer absorbing information this way. It's a lot, it's a lot quicker for my brain to comprehend. You can kind of just look at, look at it and see, wow, there was a big increase in the use of infographics over the past couple years. So whereas looking at this paragraph right here, you may not need all of these pieces of information. What I'm basically trying to say here is that the use of infographics infographics has exploded over the past couple years. If you look at this one right here, you can read the top sentence and just by looking at this, you can see the huge increases over the past couple years. So you don't necessarily need to read out the rest of the information that's in this paragraph right here. So one of the biggest reasons that the use of infographics has been dramatically increasing over the past couple years is because we as a society are suffering from information overload. We are getting more and more information bombarded at us by the day. So right here I have some statistics that illustrate that. So this paragraph reads, we receive five times the amount of information today versus 1986. On average, we consume 34 gigabytes of information or 100,500 words outside of work every single day. That's a huge amount of information. So this leads our web visitors to only read about 28% of the text that we have on our web page. So if we write a really long, great blog post, we spend a ton of time on it, on average, people are only going to read about 28% of what you put out there. So if we go over to the visualize side of this, I have the same information, visualize. I use cute little icons to hopefully allow your brain to consume this information a little bit quicker. So right here I have a poor little guy, his brain's open and he's getting all of this content dropped into his head. Then below it I have, we received five times the information today versus 1886. So just looking at this, you can see that all of these types of information are being poured into his head and five times. You can get a really quick idea of what I'm trying to convey here. Moving on. This may not be the best example, but I'm not the best drawer, I apologize. 
So right here I have this poor guy, his eyes are exploding out of his head and he has all of this media, text, and information floating around him. And then below it it says, we consume 34 gigabytes of information every day. So that's a really quick way to get what I'm trying to convey. Then over here I have a crudely drawn web page, intuitivesearch.com to be exact, and a 28% in the middle. So then here we have underneath, web visitors only read 28% of the words on your web page. So I hope that this data visualized section is a little bit easier for you guys co to consume versus a whole text thing. There's a couple key statistics that I'd like to point out based on research about how we absorb information. So researchers found that color visuals increase the willingness to read an article by 80%. So that means if visitors have two websites side by side, one has just text and the other one is media rich with images, maybe a video, some examples, things like that, people are gonna be more inclined to visit the web page with visuals versus the plain text one. So another cool fact that I found showed that people following directions with both text and visuals did about 320% better at following those instructions versus people that just had text instructions. So this just goes to show that visuals and visualized information has a huge impact on the comprehension and also the willingness to read instruction. So a recent study was done that compared two presentations done by the same person. One presentation they did strictly verbal. They didn't have any visualizations or any props or anything like that. They then did the same presentation and they used visuals to aid in their presentation. In the presentation that was verbal only, they persuaded 50% of the audience to do whatever it is that they wanted them to do. On the other hand, the audience that saw the presentation with visuals, 67% of them were persuaded. So coming from an SEO and marketing perspective, we want to persuade our visitors to take action. So we want our visitors to buy our products, check out our services, pick up the phone and call us for information, things like that. We want to persuade the visitors of our website to make our website more profitable and more worthwhile. So using data visualization is a really easy way to increase the conversions and also the persuasion of our... All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you for being here with us for Whiteboard Wednesday. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, whether this is on YouTube or on our blog, I will try and respond to any comments that we get or questions. Happy to answer any questions for you. So again, infographics are a great way to convey information in a really easily readable and comprehensible way for your visitors. They're more persuasive, they're easier to read, they increase the willingness for people to read what you have and what you have to say. They're easy to digest, they're fun to share, and they're extremely engaging. So if you wanna get started, if you wanna create your own infographic, check out my blog post. I will have some links to how you can get started to creating your own free infographic today. Thanks again for watching, and again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks guys.